So now I'd like to demo simply how to use the Always AI computer vision platform. And what we're gonna do is very quickly and very easily build a real-time object detector. What you see here is really the landing page or the dashboard that uh, current participants in our beta are presented with. And as you can see here, we've got a very simple overview of starter applications. You can immediately go in and explore the documentation uh, around our platform and around the, the process of building and deploying. Uh, and you can browse our, our model catalog. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, click the uh, choose a starter application because this is really the easiest way to, uh, to get going. And as you see, you're presented with uh, our, our docs page, which really takes th you through the very simple steps of making sure that your uh, development environment, your, your computer, your host uh, is prepared. Uh, and that the edge device, we understand what kind of device you would like to deploy on, uh, and that that device is able to uh, install uh, Docker, uh, which again is the way that we get the application onto the, onto the edge device. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, and, and down the left side here, we're gonna um, go ahead and, and go to our uh, starter applications. And you can see that we have some basic applications for uh, face counting, image classification, object detection, again, a variety of very standard uh, computer vision applications. We're gonna go ahead and download those uh, starter applications and you can see that downloading right here. Uh, and we're gonna go to downloads and we're gonna go ahead and, and select the uh, real-time object detector. Uh, and so what we need to do here is, is open up a terminal and as you can see, this is, um, you know, I'm going to expose you to the very basic uh, command line interface of, of Always AI. Uh, if we just type in AAI, we can see that there's a variety of subcommands around uh, developing an application, uh, user management, etc. We're going to be developing an application. So if we look at uh, the subcommands and the menus that are available there, uh, you can see that we can configure our edge devices, we can deploy applications, we can change computer vision models very easily through the command line interface. We're gonna be deploying that real-time object detector. So we type AAI app deploy. And as you can see, it's gonna say, okay, where, where would you like to go ahead and create a configuration to deploy? What is the name of the device that we're deploying on? And in this case, uh, this device is called Marty Pi 4. It's checking, can it SSH uh, securely into the Pi? In this case, yes. Uh, is that device Docker executable? Can it handle the, the Docker? Yes. And would we, would we like to go ahead and use the uh, default directory for this application? Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and do that. So right now it's creating that directory it's writing the application uh, to the edge device. You can see here the computer vision model that we're using is MobileNet SSD, which is a very uh, familiar open source model available in our catalog for object detection. Uh, and right now it's installing the Python virtual environment, making sure that all the dependencies are available and it's successfully gone through that. So now at this point, uh, we really wanna just start the application. So again, we've selected a real-time object detector. Uh, we've gone ahead and, and identified the endpoint that we want to put the application on. We've made sure that everything is, uh, is, is ready to go and able to, to transact. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the application. So as you can see, it's, uh, there's a set of labels here that this application is able to identify. Uh, and what we want to do is go ahead and just open up the URL. So, and we can see right now that we have identified a bottle. Uh, you can see that we're, we've identified a, a potted plant uh, and we've identified uh, one of our great employees, uh, Stephanie at Always AI. So it's successfully identifying uh, objects. This is in real time. You can see the inference time and uh, over here on the, on the left. And you can also see the model that we're deploying. Again, it's the MobileNet SSD. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna pause the application right now. 
And uh, I'm gonna use uh, an accelerator. Uh, in this case, it's the uh, uh, Intel Movidius uh, accelerator. And this is gonna allow us to really increase uh, the performance on the edge. So what we do is we just take the accelerator, we put it into the uh, Raspberry Pi. We just plug it in there. And what we need to do is we need to go back to the application. In this case, again, it's the real-time object detector. And we need to actually open up the app. And this is the actual code. As you can see, it's not, not this is about 55 lines. Um, very simple, but very powerful. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and, and right here, we're gonna tell, we're gonna uh, identify the accelerator that we're using. In this case, we need to initiate what's called OpenVINO. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. We're gonna go back to our terminal. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to redeploy uh, so we go back to app deploy and it's going to go through that same process, but this time it's going to understand that there's an accelerator attached to it. Uh, so you can see again, it's SSHing in, it's uh, copying the application to the target Pi device. It's making sure that uh, everything is, uh, is ready and uh, we're just installing the application in real time. Then we're going to go ahead and say, okay, let's start and see what kind of performance change we get and as you can see right here uh, you see the open vino it knows that there's now an accelerator the myriad accelerator from intel um, and you can see it's the same labels that we're able to identify let's go ahead and look what kind of performance improvement we got we've got the bottle the potted plant uh, and stephanie person uh, and you can see that the inference over here on the left has dramatically improved. Uh, this is a very fast real-time inference that we're able to achieve, again, uh, off, off a pie. And um, of course, the Always AI platform can support a variety of environments like Qualcomm boards, et cetera. But in this case, we're using, uh, using a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with an Intel accelerator, and we're able to get real-time object detection on the edge, untethered from the cloud with incredibly fast performance. So that's how easy it is to build and deploy a real-time application, a real-time computer vision application on the edge using Always AI.